and welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited to be here as I'm going to share three different reasons on why you should really consider having a pickler triangle for your toddler. My name is Leslie. I am a Montessori certified guide and I work in the classroom and I've been working in the Montessori classroom for eight years now. But more than being a Montessori teacher, I am now a Montessori mama. <laughs> By the time you watch this, my daughter is 16 months old and um, the Pickler Triangle is something that we got when she was, I think she was about 10 months when we first got it. And it's something that she has been using ever since. And so it has been a really helpful tool to help her with the development of her gross motor skills. I want to go ahead and start off by saying that this Pickler Triangle is often used as a Montessori tool in a lot of infant classrooms all over the world. But the truth is that Dr. Maria Montessori did not talk about the Pickler Triangle. She did not come up with this concept and she did not <laughs> invent this tool. This was actually created by a woman named Emily Pickler. And so Dr. Emily Pickler was the one that created this triangle hence the Pickler Triangle. Triangle, as you can see, it's in a triangle shape. <laughs> um, and Dr. Maria Montessori identified a lot of principles such as freedom of movement that go hand in hand with what Dr. Emily Pickler um, suggested through her studies and her observations. And with that being said, the very first reason why you should consider a Pickler Triangle is because of the opportunity to give your child freedom of movement. Now, freedom of movement is just a core principle in the Montessori philosophy. And so the first reason why you want to consider the Pickler Triangle for your toddler is because it gives your child the opportunity to move freely. Now, this tool here is such a great resource for you to have having that you can have it indoors. Now, when I think about the Pickler Triangle, I often like to think about the opportunity that children get to really exercise very specific muscles of the movement of the body, which equals gross motor development. Now think about when an adult goes to the gym or if they work out at home and they are doing, let's say, lateral pull downs or dumbbell presses, <laughs> right? Um, they are working very specific muscles in the arms. Or when you are at the gym or at home working out and you're doing squats, you're working a very specific muscle on your leg. And so that is a very similar concept to this Pickler Triangle here. When your child is pulling up on the ladder, they are using very specific muscles of the arm that they don't typically use when they are walking or crawling um, or even just pushing themselves up on furniture around your house. Um, when they put their foot here on the ladder, uh, their foot, the sole of the foot is getting a very specific stimulation, right? And so um, it is highly recommended that your child goes on here without shoes so they can truly get the benefit of that stimulation. With that, they're also putting their foot on here and pushing themselves up, hence getting, <laughs> targeting that very specific muscle in the leg. And so it gives them a lot of opportunity to really strengthen the muscles of their body all while having fun and all while learning. Now, the second reason why you truly wanna consider a Pickler Triangle in your household is because it allows your child to engage in risky play. Now, play is play for young toddlers. They don't understand the concept of risky play. They don't fully understand that if they are up here, they can fall and they can get hurt, right? So I feel like risky play is a term that is mostly for us, the adults, <laughs> um, because as a mama, I know I have so many of those moments where I'm just nervous that she's gonna fall, uh, but it's all about trusting that process. And so, this allows them to have that opportunity in a safe space to really experience different levels, experience different heights. Um, and so risky play becomes something that 
they can truly enjoy. Now, of course, you can get a lot of that risky play out in nature if you go to the playground by climbing rocks, um, but this is very helpful for those of you who want them to um, be moving while inside your household. Now, I personally live in a state where we get lots of snow over the winter time, there's a lot of rain, and so the opportunities to be outdoors are very limited during the winter and some of the spring season here. And so this here has been the most used tool here in the past few months as it has been very cold and snowing outside and it gives her the opportunity to continue to practice these skills even when we don't have the opportunity to go outdoors. I do have a course on the benefits of play during infant development, and I talk more about the Pickler Triangle and Risky Play um, during that stage of their development. So if you are interested, I'll link it down below. Now the third reason why you want to consider a Pickler Triangle is because it gives your child a safe and controlled space to freely move. Now, as a mama, I know that there's been so many times where my daughter is climbing chairs and pulling up on the TV stand, and it just makes me so nervous. And so when those moments come about, and I, then I say, oh, I see that you want to climb at this moment. At this moment, you can't climb <laughs> the chair, but you can climb your pickler triangle. You can exercise here. And so having this tool here on hand has been a great way to redirect my daughter, to give her that guidance in a very kind and respectful way. And so with that tool right there, you are indirectly giving your child the opportunity to problem solve. When they want to climb something that is dangerous in the house, hold, ah, then that is a good time for them to go and practice climbing here. So your child is going to start to connect those dots, right? And it's not going to happen overnight because it's all about the process. But when there is a problem, ah, there's a problem. I can get hurt when I climb this chair. What is the solution to that problem? Oh, go find something else in the environment that I can climb, right? So there's a problem, then there is a solution to that problem versus us just saying, nope, don't climb that chair. Nope, you're going to get hurt. Get off. No more. All done, <laughs> right? And then we just shut the door on them. Oh, all done. So what can I do, right? And so Problem solving is just a life skill that we need as human beings. And so this is a great way of just indirectly giving them those tools. The very first indicator is if you see that your child is pulling up on furniture around the house, that lets you know that they have this curiosity of pulling and climbing. So that's exactly what the triangle is for. <laughs> um, the other thing that can let you know if your child is ready is if they can um, balance themselves and I would highly recommend that your child is already walking having that they have that notion of you know one one foot forward one foot back and have that coordination there if your child is still crawling on a flat surface then it might not be a very good idea to have them even hold on to this having that this is slanted it is on an inclined plane here and so this might not be a good idea quite yet. Now everyone's comfort level is different and so always, like I said, follow your parent intuition. Now for us in our household, I love that this is foldable because we get to pack it away when um, we, the adults, my husband and I, are not around. Um, and so when we bring this out, we are always really close to her. We're not feeling quite ready for her to just climb on her own while I'm washing dishes or doing laundry um, because she doesn't have that full coordination yet. And I know she'll get there with a lot of practice. Uh, but at this moment, now that she's 16 months, she is still not fully left alone here on this Pickler Triangle. And so that is what I have here for you today. Feel free to join my family's uh, at Montessori at Home Adventures on my Instagram, Latinx Montessori. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this uh, video here and I will see you next time. Adios.